folks. Hello. Yes, um, sorry for the slight delay. Uh, I, For me, it was the Super Bowl and the computer was kind of slow. So, we're here today. Uh, so, you got anything funny before we go on? What's that? Do you, you got anything to say? Uh, anything funny? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just going to move on to the news here. Um, first thing up is... DC teams with the uh, Hero Initiative for uh, well, another one of those uh, cover projects they always do for charity. Mm-hmm. For the, and I like I, I, this isn't really news, but I like mentioning this. I think it's just nice. <laughs> I, I I know I, I, I mentioning charity is nice. Just yeah, which, uh, which charity is this going to? Um, this is uh, directly for the Hero Initiative. Which um, do you know what they do, Manos? I have no idea what they do. Um, they are, they're the first ever, uh, they say this, they're the, um, the only non-profit, uh, corporation dedicated strictly to helping comic creators in need. Oh, okay, that is a good, uh, initiative. I like it. Yeah, they, um, uh, they help out, uh, comic creators who have health problems and I can't, who, a lot of them who strictly, strictly rely on getting work done and need, uh, the money. Um, one of the best examples is, uh, Gene Colan, who's been, uh, suffering from, uh, what was it? Uh, kidney failure? No, liver failure. And uh, also, he has sight problems. Th- this helps out, um, you know, creators who are out of work. Yeah, after he had his uh, eyes worked on, he was able to work again, actually. Um, yeah. So I remember uh, he was practically retired for years uh, until he had, uh, I guess, corrective surgery or something like that. And this paid for it, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think... I know it did something. I, I, I'm pre- It helped him with, like, uh, with liver failure, but... Uh, uh, I think he also mentioned it helps them with eye correction. So, uh, and and these are just variant covers that they're uh, um, donate that they're uh, selling like an auction. Um, those are nice ones. Alex Ross one is nice. Oh yes, yeah, so, well, so he can draw anything. And it's nice. He drew Radioactive Man and it looked awesome. Woo, <laughs> woo! Simpsons reference. Didn't plan that to come out. Uh, so we're just gonna move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, I'll take this one. <laughs> Good job, Meadows. No problem. Uh, here's another... <laughs> We're G.I. Joe. Marvel teaser. Uh, Marvel it... teaser. Sorry. Marvel big teaser. <laughs> anyway. This week in Marvel big teasers, uh, the Hulk, <laughs> the Red Hulk, his rogues gallery to debut soon. Uh, Isn't there's... that exciting, ladies and gentlemen? He'll have villains. Awesome. Uh, the enemy of my enemy introducing the Hulk's new rogues gallery in March, April, and May. Uh, a- <laughs> All those months. It's a dude in a cloak and uh, a naked chick who's kind of silver grayish. Um, a guy-, guy in an army outfit from the 90s. Yeah, a guy who looks like he's in Sigourney Weaver's uh, robot costume from uh, Aliens. <laughs> it looks like something they couldn't use in Independence Day, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then a guy that looks like, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> a really weird metal armadillo. Armadillo man. Armadillo <laughs> that... man is going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember that conversation we had during the Q&A where you're like, I'd be willing to write anything. Yeah. Armadillo man will be the first thing you get. That would be great. Uh, it would be the best <laughs> book at Marvel. <laughs> I think it could be. It would be um, such a big hit. Marvel is going to like go nuts and like have five Armadillo Man titles. <laughs> Good God, that was scared the hell out of everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, matter of fact, this year they're going to do a uh, special deal with uh, retailers. Every cop, every hundred copies of torn apart copies of Flashpoint, you mail back to them. They'll send you an Armadillo Man cover. No, even better, they'll just send you a toy armadillo. <laughs> just to stick it home. Um, um, I, I've not been reading um, Ralk since the new guy took over, mm-hmm. and I've been told it's good. Well, it has I, to be better. Yeah, I'm not I'm not losing like that thought, because I've read something by Jeff Parker before and actually really liked it. Uh, and I 
anything. Actually, I read a mini series he wrote with Red Hulk because I had nothing better to do in the comic shop, and and the store owner literally dared me to read it. Like, okay, man. Well, I don't know. There's the stain on this floor. I'd rather look at, but uh, <laughs> well, your cat, your stuff. cats are everywhere. I want to pet them. Uh, which which they are. He, the guy has a couple cats there. Uh, they don't they don't scratch. They're nice. I had a friend who owned a uh, comic book store, and he had his uh, dog like pretty much live in the store. Yeah, the same day. Like when you get into the front door, there are two scratching post things for them to play in next to a Seven Up vending machine. <laughs> I li- I really like it. It gives that like this is owned by just some guy, not like a <clears throat> store. It, it seems like a safe place. Yeah, you're, you're you're in some guy's basement. It's awesome. Yeah, let me just get the seven up. But hey, this expired three years ago. <laughs> That'd be really weird because he just got the machine a few months ago. I, I know it's a joke. I know, I know, I know, I know. We made that joke too. <laughs> All right, are you he ready would to be amazed. Are you ready to move on? Yes, to another vague teaser. Vague Whoa. marble teasers. Yes, DC never puts out vague teasers. That's well, true, they don't. Well, actually, no, they did with Flashpoint, never mind. <clears throat> but that's recent. Uh, anyway, um, it's a teaser for Moon Knight. Yeah! Um, Bendis and Malieve's Moon Knight, which I'm pretty sure is going to be something really big and anticipated in the summer because it's Bendis. And and Malby, he, these are the guys who uh, did Daredevil through most of the Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the, um, but here's the thing. There was a lot of hype on Spider-Woman, and not a lot of people like that. Well, actually, they, I don't know. It's like they did three issues of it and went, uh, you know what, I don't feel like doing this anymore. They did seven issues of it, yeah. And I, and, and I also... I didn't, I didn't even I know, know it was how... done. That was what pissed me off. I was like, well, when's the next Spider-Woman coming out? And it, it's like three, four months later. He, he gone. He like, gone. Wow, this is late. And no, they just stopped doing it. Uh, yeah, like it, it did only run for like seven issues, um, which makes sense because I believe can't really keep a schedule up anymore. Uh, so that's why I'm, one thing I know a lot of people are worried about this. Um, it's let's look at this image for a second. He had he took two gloves and cap shield and he's surfing. <laughs> it it literally looks like it literally looks like he's taking he's taking advantage of this winter season. <laughs> And he, he was missing his gloves and just t- took two randoms he found at the Avengers Mansion. That's what this whole series is. It's just him goofing off in the wintertime. Yeah, not a very exciting issue or story or series. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole series. Um, all the Avengers you've ever, you ever needed. Yeah, that's, uh, it's again a vague thing. Um, I, people are going to read it because it's Bendis and not to mention Moon Knight just seems out of nowhere considering just this is the guy who writes Avengers, but and he, then again, he can put whatever the hell he wants in there. Yeah, I'd be. Uh, uh, I'm actually interested in checking this out. Uh, well, I'll check it out. So I, I always give number ones a chance if it has anything that wrote me interesting. And mm-hmm. I, I kind of like Moon Knight. I own like two trades that make no goddamn sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has David Finch art, and um, I, I like the series that was up before Vengeance. I really love that. Yeah. I, I, uh, so, okay, next story. And another vague Marvel trailer. You really should probably design a theme song for that. Jerky shit, get on this. <laughs> Who are the mystery men? And let's ask, let's ask Dark Horse cover. Comics. Let's ask Dark Horse Comics. Actually, this is a total ripoff. None of these guys looks like Janine Galofalo or Ben Stiller. I know, right? Uh um, and, uh, actually, there's something I forgot to mention. They, um, uh, uh, like, a few hours after they put this up, apparently, um, because, um, Dark Horse is really pimping out the return of Dark Horse Presents. Yeah. Mystery Men's one of the things that's going to be in it. Huh. And they were pimping that. Uh, oh. I, I just want to point that out, like, that they, they said it has nothing to do with this, of course, but, um, this is, this just reaches a new level of vague. Mm-hmm. This is not as vague as the last poster we talked about last week with the the guy from the Disturbed video. <laughs> uh, but or the worst one was the omit. Um, vague yeah, that poster. one. That was, one was hers. It was just oh. a word. Yes, and all we had was Quesada and some guy we never heard of. Yeah. Well, uh, what's the next one? Um, hold on a moment. 
Oh, the next one is honestly not a concern to me, but um, New York Comic Con expands to four days. Woo! <laughs> More people can spend money. Woo! Um, uh, let's see. Any big guests coming, or do they just uh, have so many uh, people planned to come that they just decided they, to stretch it out another day? Um. Yeah, they haven't even gotten. They haven't even announced guest yet <laughs> for this year. Damn. Um, but, uh, y- yeah, um, this is one of the big conventions going, so I can see why they're announcing they're going an extra day, um, Thursday. I can, yeah. I can understand why, but I don't know, usually yeah, the is? first day of a convention, not a lot of big news. Yeah. Um, I remember when we did, uh, um, San Diego, there wasn't a lot of stuff, like, the on, on the Thursday, Friday's where I picked up, so, I don't know, uh. That gives us another day of crap I have to cover when it comes up. That's right. I'm gonna be sleeping that day. <laughs> I'll, I will. I will. Ha- I'll be cut off from the internet, realizing I gotta do that. Because last year I dreaded it. I have a brand. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't you just make shit up and record it um, beforehand? Bendis said he's leaving to Mars. <laughs> Bendis decided to grow hair. <laughs> do you imagine how many people would actually be like, what? Unbelievable! That's no way bullshit. Really? It's gonna grow hair. No. I I've tried finding pictures of him with hair. That, those don't exist. Well, he decided to start south and then go from there. Okay, now that we've reached that low in our comedy day. Mm-hmm. Woo! It's this is what happens when we're late. <laughs> let's move on. Yes, let's move on to something you wanted to mention. Yes, yes, yes. I'll let you have the floor, sir. Uh, yes, uh, there is a horror host whose show uh, appears in the New England states, uh, for the most part. Uh, Penny Dreadful, and the show is called Penny Dreadful's Shilling Shockers, and it's been airing since 2006. Well, she is getting a comic book uh, series here, and it's, uh, let's see. It's uh, called just that. It's uh, the Penny Dreadful comic, and uh, she is actually draw- writing it herself. Uh, it's going to be done in sort of the EC horror c- comic kind of style, uh, with uh, the character Penny Dreadful uh, hosting each story uh, as it comes by. So, is, is that kind of like how the show works? Uh, well, I... the show is just. Well, do you have a horror host show in your area? We have the one with Elvira. Oh, oh, you do. Oh, you get the uh, Elvira show. Cool. Yes. In our uh, in our uh, state, Virginia, I live in Virginia. We've had mm-hmm. Doctor Madblood for thirty years. Uh, we and uh, he's been off the air for a couple of years, but he's been doing like uh, Halloween specials. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, it's kind of cool. It's on the uh, local PBS station. They uh, they put it on Halloween. Uh, I wish I I actually don't I don't get to watch her show. I've actually had to watch it on DVD. And I've met her at a couple of uh, uh, horror conventions, and she's she couldn't be cooler. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna try and get this comic. Actually, uh, I love old horror kind of comics. And I don't think I'll get it. something like this in stores, uh, honestly. Yeah. Which, of course, you understand. So I, I, I don't know. Go, 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 go. If I I think I could maybe ask the guy if he could order it because it sounds like one of those things you have to kind of go a little more out of his way to find because they'll order indie stuff but again it, it, not a lot of it because not everyone's probably gonna want it but it, it does sound cool I like watching I like like horror type shows from time to time horror and, right you ready horror not horror My that's sister, another kind of horror it is uh. And just because, um, just because I just wanted to keep the recording. Okay, the next story is. Goddamn computer, don't slow up on me now. Uh, I'm gonna so screw this name up. Uh, Kobe Smolders. Smolders will be Maria here in the, ugh, Maria Hill. Point for me in the Avengers. For those of you who don't know who this is, she's from How I Met Your Mother. Oh, she is? Okay. Yes, uh, I watch that show from time to time. I'm uh, forced to watch it at gunpoint, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die. Uh, <laughs> it's like, watch this show, it's funny! No, I don't want to watch it. It's the slap Thanksgiving episode. It's funny! No, I don't want to... I, 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 I do like funny. the show. <laughs> I do like the show. <laughs> don't kill me. 
I'm, Yo, Patrick Harris, you're ruthless. I'm just reenacting a moment in my life. <laughs> Someone really tried to, like, threaten you to watch that episode? I don't know. It's just everybody thinks it's... I don't, I'm not a big sitcom guy anymore. I, I, uh, maybe there's, I, not, there's not a good one. There's not a lot of good ones anymore. And, or it's, any of them. and it's one of the good ones, too. And I, yeah. I, I can't sit through it more than two minutes. I, I, I forget to watch it all the time. Uh, I am happy. Anything, anything on primetime television, yep. you will probably never be watched by me. I am happy for Willow and uh, Doogie Howser that uh, the show is successful and they're doing well. I'm really, I'm happy for them, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm I know that's what they too. are. I know that's what they are. Shut up. And not to mention Doogie Howser is also the Flash and Nightwing and the Music Meister. That's right. That's right. And... Got to get every nerd reference we can. Into. Oh, anyway, uh, Miss Hill. Uh, th- I've never seen this actress before, but uh, uh, she looks the part. And actually, I'm kind of excited to see that character in the in the movie. I, I'm I'm a little surprised to putting such a recent character in it. I kind of am too. I don't know what she's gonna do because I've found another one where they talked about this and just simply said, "Yeah, she's gonna be Nick Fury's sidekick." <laughs> so I'm kind of convinced all she's going to do is read out reports and say, oh, my God, they broke the door down or something. Uh, yeah, that's probably the whole reality. That's probably what she's going to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I actually had not m- much of opinion of the character. I could tell that she was a real ball buster for, you know, first year or two she was in the comics. It wasn't until Secret Invasion showed up that um, I thought, wow, this character is really cool. True, true. Uh, uh, did you, you read Secret Invasion, right? I did. That sequence where uh, she has that showdown on, on the helicarrier. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw that. I read that, and I thought, okay, all right, I'm on board with this character. <laughs> that was one of the few things I liked about Secret Invasion. Uh, it, uh, what parts did I not like? The part where we waited for three months. Oh, that was the best part. Are you kidding? Great. Hey, are these guys scrolls? Are they evil? I don't know. Let's wait for three months. Wee-hoo. Look at all the jungle. <laughs> all right, now. No! Oh, but, go. The last shit. story. Uh, well, oh. not the, well, the last story, but because uh, we're talking about the commercials. Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, the second to last story. Yes, you can talk about this because it's your turn. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt to join the Dark Knight Rises cast. Um, the end. Yes, um, rumored it. forever. That's it's been rumored forever. What can we tell you, folks? We don't know what he's playing yet? Nobody knows what he's playing. Everybody says they know... He's playing anything from like uh, Nightwing to Joker uh, to Riddler and, and to, to to um uh, who, to Hugo Strange. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's a weird rumor going around that he's going to be a mixture of Hugo Strange and the Riddler. <laughs> like, I'm not making that up. I oh, found no, it. So. No. He's going to be you know Bruce Wayne's mom. <laughs> That's real he's acting. Be right that right. He's you know he's going to do it all. He's going to be Doogie Howser for some reason. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, it's going to be the best movie ever with that. But, um... Uh, <laughs> you I, know it would be. <laughs> it's like, why is Doogie Howser in this? And it's not even Doogie Howser playing him. What's going on? I call foul. Oh, um, yes, like the forever. Worst casting I've ever seen since Haley Berry playing Sharon Stone in the Flintstones movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there going, that's not Sharon Stone. <laughs> this movie is awful. I'm trying to think of another one, but that one got me beat. <laughs> that was the worst Uncle Jesse in the Dukes of Hazard ever. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Again, it's been rumored since like I remember at the beginning of this show we talked about how he was rumored to be the Riddler. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 I remember that vaguely too because um, Eric told me to shut my dirty whore mouth. Yeah. That 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 memory haunts me because people keep telling me. Remember that time when Eric said that to you? Mm-hmm. No, I don't have it on my computer and have you people mention it to me all the time. Yeah. Um. I, he he's in it. Uh. It, it's cool. He's a good actor. We're not going to argue that. And, but he's in it. We don't know what he's going to be. Maybe he's going to be Bane's sidekick, Mini Bane. Who knows? <laughs> or maybe he's going to play another reporter character. Who knows? I'm still convinced he's going to just play like some detective character or something. Works with Gordon, tells him the obvious. See, what are we going to do? <laughs> I'm going to take a wait and see attitude. I'm not going to try and break my head trying to guess no, no. who he's going to play. 
No, no, we'll just be patient. Who cares? It's going to be a great movie regardless. Mm-hmm. It's Nolan. He knows what he's doing. I I love it when people freak out about it. It's in good hands. Nolan Nolan hates telling anybody anything about his film. Yeah. Rather, if it were up to him, he wouldn't say anything. Until yeah, he- yeah, yeah. I I I, I know. Uh, I think you told me this once, where like he, he like the guys at Warner Brothers are beating him up with a bat just so he could say one thing they could tell people. Yeah. There's gonna be coffee in the movie. Oh, Alright, fine. Somebody drinks coffee in one scene. Fine! Yeah, I'm just imagining this really sad scene of him tied down to a chair and he's just giving really lame information. <laughs> bloodied up. <laughs> we, we love you, Christopher Nolan. We're sorry. <laughs> and okay, the last thing. Um, this, this is really a story, just kind of a discussion. Um, yes. A, lo- a lot of uh, ads for big comic book related movies came out. Um, obviously, Captain America, Thor, and I guess we'll talk about maybe Cowboys and Aliens. Maybe. Possibly. We're not talking about Transformers 3 because you know what we're going to say there. No. No. We're, we're just going to say no. We're not going to... No, we're not... I'm not seeing that movie. I'm seeing it. Ah, oh, goddammit. Now i got to see it. You, get, you don't have to see it. I'm, I, I'm kidding. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. I honestly do want to see it just so I can be like... Well, I need something to complain about, so I'm in the know when the storm of crap happens. I'll see it. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll see what I want to see. You can't tell yeah. me what not to see. I know you can't see that. Did you just smack me? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it looks the Transformers story looks the same as all the other movies. Yeah. Uh, that, what do you expect? Um, well, I hope it's I hope it's at least of the caliber of the first one and not of the second one. Because uh, the second one was a mess. No, really? Yeah. People are still talking about how it was the Holocaust of film. Uh, they need to calm down. <laughs> you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Okay, so the ones that matter. <laughs> um, it's like, you know, there, there's there's a few movies not as horrible. <laughs> hey, you're right. There are worse. There are there, worse. There are much worse films. Anyway, but... Um, yeah. Now that we've reminded everyone to go watch Eric's chat again. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's at least as good as the first one. And, and, okay, so uh, we'll move on to Thor. Yeah, Thor. Um, eh, we've seen trailers already, so it, it looks cool. Uh, they got a lot of action scenes in there because they have to sell it to you. A little more dialogue. We're now getting into the, the trailers, the second generation of sneak previews, where we actually get to see dialogue exchanged and almost humorous moments. I like that bit where uh, Portman uh, I think asks him uh, he's either serious or he's crazy or something like that. And, yeah, and then, and then and like, you'll see. Yeah. I love that uh, shot. I love that shot of him. I think it's him using the hammer and just creating that huge shock wave. Oh, that looked awesome. Like, that, uh, that looked amazing. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to get a lot of like big substance here out of uh, what, what we saw, but you know, it, it, it did its job. It made you interested in the movie. If, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen a Branda film. I don't remember the last film you made. Was it was it the Hamlet movie from I ten years ago? I can't remember I, his last. I don't think I've seen a movie by him. He has done uh, he's done a few movies. Uh, he did Dead Again, starring himself and Emma Thompson, uh, which is a neat little thriller. Uh, then he made Hamlet, and I think he's directed something else, but I can't remember. Uh. Okay, so that's Thor. We'll move on to the probably the big one, Captain America. Yeah, baby. Um, I'm way more in this movie now. Uh, I like the line when he gets like the serum into him. He's like, "How do you feel, taller?" <laughs> hey, that's a good impression. <laughs> Let me try it. Taller. Did you smoke cigarettes? It's the forties. <laughs> Everyone's smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Why are you smoking in the chamber? <laughs> You're either smoking sim- cigarettes or you're a commie. You know what? How much do you want to bet we might hear that line? Oh, I'm Well, sp- wait a minute. It's Marvel. It's banned smoking. Never mind. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, he- I hope they're not retroactively banning smoking. <laughs> retroactively? That'd be funny. Like people um, never smoked. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's- Mephisto goes to the, ca- to the-, to the cigarette company and... Yeah. He's like, I will undo your damage and make sure no one remembers cigarettes. Uh, um, 
it looks cool. We get something. Like, I want to see a full trailer now, just so we can get more of a look. Yeah, 30 seconds was not enough. But uh, We I saw actually, Red Skull. We saw Red Skull. I enjoy yeah. And him leaping uh, forth and moving in the costume with the mask on. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm constantly playing it, uh, testing the shield, uh, and though like we don't get a great look, you can see that he looks really skinny and stuff. So yeah, CG could obviously fix that. Uh, but I this movie looks good just from what I'm seeing. Uh, uh, Thirty seconds makes me exci- well. I, I'm sorry, but the first thing I really do notice is oh my god, it's Agent K. No, that's what my dad noticed watching it with me. Mm. He's like, oh my god, the guy from Men in Black's in this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tell me. Oh, the best, the best, the best one. The best one is uh, when we watched Thor. He's like, son, I might go see that with you. Movies win if my dad thinks it looks cool. That's good. Uh, yes. Um, and the, we'll just mention this: Cowboys and Aliens. Yeah, which looks. Uh, I saw actually a trailer for it uh, about a month or two ago for the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's been a trailer for it, but it's a comic book movie, so hey. Patriot. It looks like one of those films that's a lot better than the title suggests. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I uh, you hear that title and you think, man, I ain't gonna see that stupid shit. And then you that see, does sound like something Sci-Fi Channel would air, wouldn't that just? Yeah, except not as good. You know, it's like. But by, uh, by the way, by the way, I watched Titanic two last night on Sci-Fi. Oh man, I saw that. Come on, yeah. <laughs> well, I watched the end of it because of the Super Bowl. But really, <laughs> Titanic two. Anyway, um, yeah, and uh. The funny thing is, I'm like, oh, Dad, I really want to see this movie because I could tell what it was already. Yeah. And my dad's like, why the hell would you want to see a Western? And then he saw the spaceship fly by. Oh. Because <laughs> my, my dad knows me. <laughs> but it looks fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, the mo- all the movies look fun, and I'm lo- except for Treasure Wars 3, of course, I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all. Um, yep. Again, there, there's tiny 30 second trailers. What do you want from us? I know. It was a lot better than watching Christina Aguilera mangle the Star Spangled Banner. Or Fergie and her man voice <laughs> think "Sweet Child of Mine." Yeah. That's that's a <clears throat> Vietnam flashback waiting to happen if you mention that to someone. Hey, here's, oh, here's an impression of uh, Christina Aguilera singing "Happy Birthday." <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shut up it's like a 30 second song <laughs> it's a whole album now yeah, uh, Inagata de Vida you over arty bitch <laughs> okay so um, we managed to not go for an hour because uh, two people complained about that yet last oh, week Oh. also I want to mention something to you while we're talking that movie's that, that, ep- that video has been uh, okay to be like partnership I could get partnership for it if I want to, but they won't accept it. Oh, okay. Because it's fixed. I just want to mention that to you. We we got that many viewers that they said we should make money off that. Awesome. That's great. Yes. Yeah, so um, we'll be back next week, hopefully on Sunday. Peace, folks. Bye. <laughs>